All right, we are back at my base and I have done a bunch of different things while here or while I was here. Um, the first well, one thing I did is I added a whole bunch of uh, totems here. Like uh, this one here is for speed. Uh, so I move fast now without having to run. That one's for speed too. Um, and then here I have one of these is luck, one of these is speed, one of these is strength. Um, in case I have to, you know, fight any scary mobs here or something like that. So that I set up. Uh, this one here is for, uh, it's bat, which, yeah, bat, which uh, negates fall damage, among other things. Um, so that way I can just jump down the hole and just fall right to the bottom, not take any damage. Um, I also got two parrots from the jungle. Uh, we're going to need them a little later, or we'll need one of them a little later. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I didn't know that you couldn't breed these. Which is gonna suck because I'm gonna have to murder one of them. But that's that's gonna happen later. We won't worry about that right now. And then uh, upstairs here, I uh, yeah, I put another f uh, bat totem here so I won't take damage when I come up through here. Uh, this is in preparation for later. Don't worry about that yet. And more speed totems all over the place so it's. So I can move faster between places. There's another speed totem. Another one there. Uh, one over here. I have another horse in preparation for something we're going to have to do later. Let me... There we go. So, it takes a little while for the speed totems to work. That's another speed totem there. Uh, and then over here... Oh yeah, also when I was in the jungle I picked up uh, cocoa beans. Uh, yeah, there's another speed totem. And then over here, is this is all my animals, so I've been breeding buffalo. Uh, the sheep are, were over there before. The chickens have moved. They're all the way back there now. And then I put the, uh, the cows here, and I've been breeding those as well. You can see all the, all the chicken drops over there. I don't, I don't need like any more feathers or eggs. I'm just gonna leave that right now. <laughs> but it's there if I need it. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, this, see, this is what the trees look like when they have apples in them. And you just right click and there's your apples. You get quite a few of them. Actually, I almost, I almost have like two stacks in there. So. Let me head back downstairs. Just fall down. Uh, okay, so we have... There's a few more things we want to do before we progress to the next stage, which is what this is here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a uh, horse power press. So... The press is two leads, uh, one stick, some slabs, and some planks. So that's pretty easy. I think I have... I'm going through so many leads. I'm going to have to make more. Uh, uh, yes, so I, I know I, I definitely have a lot of planks because I've been chopping lots of wood. Do I have... Oh, yes, there's... No, ah, that's not what I wanted. I want the slab there. There we go. And the stick is the other thing. Sticks there. Yes, I know I still have everything in these old chests. And <laughs> I'm so close to the next stage that I'm not going to bother to change. Because, um, yeah, we're going to get better stuff in the next stage. So, uh, so we're going to go like that. Let me actually just move that out of the way those there and we want the slab in the middle and surround it with planks there we go craft it up and there now we have the horse press um and I'm, uh, so I'm gonna put it upstairs but first I need to make another lead so I will be 
back as soon as I get that done. All right, I got my leads. I use up the, my last piece of leather, which I'll make more soon, don't worry. And we're gonna head over here and let me get the horse press out. And if we put it in the middle, oh yeah, and I have to make a little path around. Make sure the horses can walk fast. Okay, you're gonna have to you're going to move a little bit there, horsey. There we go. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to uh I forgot to get like the hopper and stuff like that. Okay, we won't worry about that right now. Let me just I'll put it up one though. So we'll go like so. Give me that. There we go. So now we can attach the horse to this. All right. Now there was something in particular I needed to right. Press charcoal into a large block using the power, the horsepower press. Okay, so let me just take a look at recipes. Uh, yeah, it's not that. It must be this charcoal block. So we're gonna need charcoal, which we can make ah uh, at the grindstone from low grade charcoal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some low grade charcoal. That should be easy. I just need a log. There we go. I've got nine. I just made some extra, just you know, cause. So let's. Give this to our horse here. You are a very slow horse. Can I like, push you along? <laughs> there we go. We got it. Okay, uh, I think I need it for that. So we'll put that there for now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I wanted to quickly make a cart. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to need wheel first. Which is sticks around some planks. That's, that's very easy. Get that out of the way and we can get the crafting rock. Oop. Ah, stupid lag. Um, right, yeah. Like that. I don't think I need two of these. And put that there. There we go. There. Got it. Uh next we're going to want the uh love and carriage. So let me look up cart. All right, we're gonna need the primal chest advanced. I don't remember if I had ever actually showed you how to make those. I remember I remember going this far with those. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna need some dark oak planks though. So hold on. In the meantime, while that's going, we can work on the gears. So let's look up gears. I think I just need one, so that is... Oh, that's red cedar planks. Okay. I know how to get these. We're gonna have to go back upstairs. <laughs> uh, that is a totemic ritual. Oh, oh, I forgot. I need saplings. I have a whole bunch of saplings here. Um, uh, let's get like six. Let's go with eight and put the rest of those back. There we go. Let's go up again. And then if we plant these around the totem here, and hopefully they won't grow. Whoa, <laughs> hello. No, bad doggy. Did you even, didn't even drop anything. Um, <laughs> okay. 
Oh uh, yeah, so we'll plant these here. There we go. And then we need, uh, if we open up our uh, Totempedia uh, ceremonies, is the Zafkiel Waltz. Yes, that gets the Red Cedar Saplings. So to start that, we need a rattle and a drum. Okay. Let's put that there. So I got all my tools right here for that. And we put on my jingle dress. Uh, and what was the oh, wrong, wrong thing? I already forgot. <laughs> uh, rattle and drop. Okay. Okay, so rattle. Oops, nope. There we go. Put that in the other hand. Oh yeah, we got this. There we go. This also does a uh, uh, a growth thing for. Oops. Uh, oh, they're growing. No, I don't want you to grow. Actually, <laughs> crap. Yeah, it uh, actually is a, a growth um, increase there as well. Oh, I can't see anything. Where where are the other? I want the other saplings, please. Uh, is there more? Yes, there's more. Okay, okay please give me those. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's a growth ceremony and things grow super fast. I obviously, I mean, you just saw how fast that creed, the cree, tree grew. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's how, that's how that works. I just didn't have any crops nearby, so you couldn't see that. And you see, it's still up on my screen, that means that the, like, the effect is still running. So if I... Do we get saplings from these? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so far I only have the seven saplings. I think you need to do the, um, ceremony each time. Uh, you want to get more saplings, which is fine. It's, it's not a very hard one to do at all. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these trees here one second. Just in my way. Okay, trees have been cleared out. I have more, some more room now. Uh, so we're going to need uh, cedar wood planks. So these are going to have to go um, over here for the horse to process. Okay, you don't have to do those. Oops. <laughs> You don't have to do those anymore. Or you can do them after. There we go. So I'll get those processing. I'm just going to go put my stuff away here. Oh my god, I did the wrong thing. No, 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 I did the wrong thing. I am so stupid. <laughs> oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh my god, it's supposed to go on the chopper. Not the, not the grinder. What am I doing? What, what am I even doing? Uh, I'm sure you were probably yelling at me. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot this chest is completely full of stuff. Oh my God, look at all that wood. I really don't need this much wood right now. Oh, I'm going to find a place for it downstairs. Okay, let me organize this. <laughs> okay, now that my derpage is complete, um, I want these uh, red cedar planks. And we're going to go back downstairs to the crafting table. And, okay, so we're going to need these buffalo teeth and the cedar. And what was the, okay, so the teeth in the corners. Alright, that was far too 
ridiculous to make a gear. I know, I know from watching other people playing that this does get easier. It's just, yeah, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. All right, that's done. So now, <laughs> now we can make the millstone. So, millstone. All right, that is, that is a grindstone. Uh, actually, I have one, yeah, right over here. That's perfect. Take one of you. And you're, you're going to go in the middle, right? Yes. Grindstone there. I'm going to need some stone. And do I have any stone slabs? No, I just have cobblestone. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. So I make stone slabs first. All right. <laughs> like that. Yeah, and then stone around here. Grindstone there. We got... And there we go. Oh, and I got the Better With Mods manual. I already have one of those. Well, now I have two. <laughs> And uh, we're also going to need the hand crank, which is what we need the gear for. So I didn't just make that, you know, for shits and giggles. <laughs> um, so sticks and cobblestone. I got sticks. I need a little bit of cobble. There's some cobble. All right. Like this. And some sticks. There we are. That is the hand crank. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go put this over here where the uh, where the other one was. Um, and you, I think you can put this beside it, or you can put it on top of it. I'll I'll just stick it beside it. There we go. Um, now there was I think it's something for the um, flame grilled goodness that I need it. But uh, I do want to quickly do that cart, so let me go back up top and get those planks I wanted in order to make the cart. Uh, we have the two wheels, yeah, we have slabs and planks. What we really need are the primal chests. So, first we need to make an immersive chest, which is planks and stones. I made those before. We grab stones, so we need to make two. Uh, oh, I have a whole bunch. I have all the wood I could ever want. Poor <laughs> Mountain Pop is stuck in the Twilight Zone because they're er, Twilight Zone, Twilight Forest, <laughs> because uh, yeah, because the portals are are working funny. They're spawning in the overworld, but the return ones aren't spawning in the Twilight Forest. So he's stuck there right now. Uh, Alright, yeah, so. One, two chests. Put those back. And then they need to be surrounded with the dark oak wood planks and the regular planks. Um in order to make the primal chest. Let's go in the corners. There we go. Put those back. Now to make the advanced ones, I'm going to need some bark. That is, that is not very much bark. I have more, right? Yeah, there's some right there. That's a lot more, actually. Let's just use that. Uh, no. Just right on the sides. Okay, so I take this one and this one. There we are. 
Got those. Now, we're going to have a chest here and a chest there. And then the wheels, like so. And then write slabs down there and planks up top. So planks and slab. Slab and planks. Ta-da! Uh, I don't know. I want to put. I want to put you there. There we go. I want to show you what this looks like. So let me head upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna put it over here. This is my uh, my travel horse. So let's put it right there. So you can attach the horse. Uh, let me see if I can get on him here. I guess I could dent through the fence. Okay, jump higher. There we go. There is a key for it. Let me make sh let me check what it is here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it's bound to R, but let's change it to uh anything else. Semicolon is thinking key. Semicolon is. So if we do semicolon with the horse near the cart, it is now attached to the horse. Look at that. And now we can have a uh, carry inventory around. So if I press it again, should detach the cart? Yes, it does. Okay, so put horsey back. Horsey. Horsey. Go back in your pen. There we go. And if we, uh, if we right click on the cart, we would get in. So this can actually be used as like a two person mount. You just have one person riding the horse and one person riding in the back as passenger. And shift out. And if you shift right click, you'll see it has a full. Uh, double chest inventory in it. So, I mean, you could have these basically, like, as your storage. But at this point, there's not much point to it, so I'm not gonna bother. Alright, there's one. Okay, there's more than one last thing. Um, the, <laughs> the next thing we can do is the spooky boss battle. There is a boss from the Trotemic Ceremony um, that we can do. So, I'm going to go ahead and I already kind of prepared this area here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to perform the ceremony. He's going to spawn somewhere around the... One moment. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to smack you. Oh, and then you explode. Well, that wasn't very nice. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so I am going to, he's going to be summoned somewhere around here, and I'm going to duck into here, and this is going to be the cheaty way that I kill him. <laughs> I, it, I think it should work. I guess we'll find out. So, let me move all this stuff over here. Oh, I'm going to have to get all my jingle dress and such again. There we go. So to summon him is uh I'm gonna go back. One moment. Here's zombie. There you are. Right. To summon him is a uh, chimes of death. Um, yeah, he ruthlessly hunts warriors and is master of archery, attacking with invisible arrows. He paralyzes his prey and devours their livers. Um, but if you, you get his bow, which is awesome. Oh, oh, before I do this, oh, I can't believe I have not done this before. I need a shield. I don't know, well, I don't know if it was going to help me here, but I'm going to make one anyways. Okay, so shield. Uh, we can make the we'll make the stone one. So we're gonna need a wooden one first. We got a bunch of wood, so that's new issue. So er, that there. Uh, grab the crafting rock. 
Yeah, I can't believe it took me this long to make a shield. And that's just, yes, yeah, stones around it like that. So... And around... No, that's a piece of dirt. That's not a shield. There we go. One shield. Alright, so now we've got that. Now we're a little bit more prepared. Uh, so let's head back up. Uh, I also made... This is a... Yeah, that's a totem of strength, so it gives me strength three. And then this totem over here is a totem of luck, so I should hope maybe get some extra loot. I'm not sure how exactly it's going to work. Oh, and this is just, yeah, the uh, the bat one, so we don't worry about that. But, um, yes. Actually, I may have... May have miscalculated here. Well, we're going to try it. Anyways, <laughs> hopefully I won't die. If I do, well, you'll get to see it. Uh, okay, so I need the rattle and the flute. And to start the ceremony it is wind chime and... Oh, I forgot about the eagle bone whistle. Okay. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> okay. That is what we're going to need uh, one of our little parrot friends here for. I'm sorry for having to do this. Um, I need to... Uh, shield's in the way. Hold on. There we go. Take you upstairs. I'm just going to have you sit over there. So actually, the first thing we're going to need... Let me just eat something real quick. So actually, the first thing we're going to need is the eagle dance. For the eagle dance. You can read the eagles. Oh, I did not know that. Well, it, in that case, because, yeah, I was saying before, I can't believe you can't breed the parrots. But if I can just breed eagles, then that, I can just have a pair of eagles as pets, and that would be, I mean, more awesome, obviously. Uh, so I think it said rough fish and breed with salmon. Okay. Should have some fish in here. Or if I can get to it, there we go. Raw fish and salmon. So for this ceremony, it is going to be a wind chime and a rattle to get it started. So, let's put that there. Um, so, wind chime. Rattle. Put that there. Oh yeah, we got this. Look at that. And we have two eagles. Okay, quick, let me quickly tame them. They need to be tamed. Yep. There we go. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, I can take that on my other hand. And then if we have salmon, we can breed you guys. <gasps> oh, look. oh, no. No. Tiny one. Tiny one. Where are you going? Where are you going, tiny one? Come back. No. Oh, crap. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. Yeah, come here. Let me let me tame you. Can I tame you yet? No, you you don't want fish. Oh, it already is tamed. Never mind. Okay, so I just want to make you guys sit. There we go. So I'm gonna feel super bad about this, but I have to kill one of these. <laughs> At least now I have two, so I don't. I can still I can still breed them. I'm very, very sorry for what I'm about to do. Actually, I only want to hit one. Um, let me quickly fix this up here. Uh, 
I'm so, so sorry. No. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> okay, the eagle bone, though, can be used with the eagle feather to make the eagle bone whistle, which I need for the ceremony. So, okay, okay, so I'm gonna put that there. That's gonna go there. Um, yeah. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get you guys to move back a little bit, so you don't I don't want to smack you. Right. So for this ceremony, finally, <laughs> the chimes of death. Uh, it is wind chimes and eagle bone whistle. Chimes. do this oh I'm so close come on <laughs> no come on oh, I did it I did it Whoop. hiding okay Oh, there he is. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna put that on. Put my pants on. Let's see if we can get him. prestige points are <laughs> but I got it okay ooh I got some of those arrows nice let me get out of here ah, I have too much stuff in my inventory okay uh I don't need that dirt there excellent all right we have ourselves a boo. Now, that's done. Let me quickly put all my stuff away here. All right, we're in the <laughs> final piece that we need to move on to the next stage. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is where we can do it. So we need the flame grilled whopper. We have, oh, we need red cedar planks. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I just need to grab them. Okay, so red cedar planks done. Uh, we have shadow gem, we have shark tooth, and I made a whopper mark two. The only thing we need is this charcoal dust, which we're gonna need with this charcoal block. So if I put that in here, I can use this. What? Wait, I'm confused. I got the charcoal dust. Why do I need a charcoal block? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> it's all good. I'll I'll bring you back once once this is done. There we go. Ooh, that went through a lot of food. There we go. Okay guys. This is it, I think. This is it, finally! Uh, okay, so the planks in the corners. Uh, then the ash underneath. We have the shadow gem at the top. Uh, the shark tooth in the middle. 
And what was the last things? Oh, yeah, and then the hopper at the bottom. Drum roll, please. Damn it. <laughs> I thought this was it. Oh, no, there's more. Ah. <laughs> oh. I thought this is it. Oh, that's that's where it is. Okay. I'm just going to have to go ahead and finish this cuz yeah. Okay. So we need a a heater and a melter. Right? Is that what it's saying? Oh. Oh, heater then melter. Okay. We can do this. I'm not gonna stop now, not after all of that. Uh, so how do you make this? I'm oh, gonna make stone grills. How do you make this porcelain? Uh, it is. Okay, in a millstone, bone meal, clay, and flint. I think I have all those things. So, flint. But bone meal, I have like tons of. And some clay. That's one. I'm pretty sure I have more clay than that. I think I made it into blocks somewhere. Did I? Is it over here? Really? I do not have any more clay. That's surprising. Okay, I'll be right back. I will go get some clay. Okay, there was a whole bunch of it right outside uh, in the river outside my house. So. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of these. <laughs> uh, I might need some more flint, actually. I think I have more gravel somewhere. There's some more gravel. And I can use that with the mesh. Uh, let's do, like, 16. That'll be plenty. There we go. Put that back. So let's go ahead and make the first one. So, uh, how much is this I'm going to need? I'm just, actually, I'm going to just type in porcelain. I can get a better idea of how much I'll need here. So I'm going to need six there. And six there. So 12 all together. So if we go like so. Let me... Well, you can kind of imagine how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and make that porcelain. And I'll bring you back once that's done. Alright, I have the 12 porcelain. So, now we're going to need to smelt them up. Uh, could do it on, a, on a, a kiln, but honestly stone grill is better because you can stack them up. So I'm just throw those on there. While those are cooking up, uh, we're going to go ahead and make... Yeah, we're going to need two of these barrel extensions. So take some clay. And if I remember correctly, we need unfired version. Yeah, which is just like that. So let's make two of those. Just put the clay in a line like that. Where is the... Oh, there's my crafting rock. Get those. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now these, I think, can only be... Yeah, put in the clay kiln. That's fine. I have enough clay kilns. One there, one there. Uh, three of those are done. Sure, it's taking quite a while. I thought they'd be done by now. Four. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess the uh, the little bald, e bald eagle upstairs grew up because <laughs> I heard some squawking behind me <laughs> when I was doing that. And yeah, this guy was just sitting behind me. Just, just watching. Being a little creeper. Okay, those are done. Let me just get one more of these bricks. And then we'll be set to make the first piece. And there we go. 
All right. So these go all along the side. Uh, and we're going to want to make the... Yeah, let's make this one. So the clay barrel and the stone grills. I just need one stone grill at the bottom. And then two of those. And where is our crafting rock again? There it is. That's one thing done. All right. Now the other thing, which is the porcelain melter. That's going to take the grill in the middle, a chest at the bottom, the flame grilled whopper on top, and then we just need the rest of that porcelain. Two more. All right, porcelain's done. So let me put these in now. Let me double check this, I think. That is the very last thing here, and I'm pretty sure the way that it has like that shape around it that means that'll finish off the age okay can I get another drum roll please yes oh my god yes <laughs> oh, I'm so happy <laughs> oh this is amazing! <laughs> oh my god. There's... Okay, there's so many things I wanted to do. Uh, but I think this is a good place to call it. <laughs> yeah, like Mountain Pop said, crafting tables! And, uh... <laughs> and a bed! But I will have to do that all next time. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me finally getting to age one. It sure took me long enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, so take care, everyone. <laughs>